Ed Gunn Leshy presents Winter Press Control, Volume 4. Mother Nature has been smoking something. She's unleashed snow, ice storms, and then a thunderstorm thus far this winter. The rain melted all the snow, and then it promptly started to snow again. Typical. Something about a snowstorm, though, that brings out the squirrels. I got a few rats during this weird stretch of weather, but I want to share this squirrel with you first and debut something I'm going to call Pellet Vision. This guy had a black coat and a brown belly, which you're about to see here in a second. I've been exploring some of the features within this software I use on my iPhone called Video Leap. Through the magic of editing, I was able to take you for a ride with this 34 grain projectile from the muzzle of the Ed Gun Layla to the dome of this squirrel. This guy just snaps back and it's instant lights out. Let's watch that one again in normal slow motion. The lighting was perfect for tracking a pellet. I got a few in today, so you'll see more here in just a bit. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you like pellet vision. I won't do them all like this, I think it'll get a little overwhelming. It's like watching a Blair Witch Project. But I thought it was an interesting perspective and cool to see. Here's those rats I mentioned earlier. Each got the H&N Sniper 177 out of the Ed Gun Leshy. You can see snow or rain, they really don't care. But what shuts rats off is the wind. So if it's windy out, don't even bother looking for rats. I took these rocks apart after this to retrieve this guy, and there was a pile of bones in what had become a rat tomb. I guess the scavengers couldn't get in there either. The forward grip on the label is definitely meant to shoot off a bag or even offhand. There's no real room to mount a rail at all. So I came across this really cool little mod on the Edgun Matador owners group on Facebook. I'll put a link in the description so you can go check it out if you're interested. It's a slick little mod and it's perfect for my setup. Here's my first shot off the Atlas bipod. It makes a huge difference, for me at least. This guy was bouncing on this branch and it was just going up and down by about like 4 inches. So I timed it perfect and I put a 34 grain JSB MK2 between the eyes and stoned him. This next one was the third out of the little squirrel trio. While the first one was eating peanuts I put out, this guy and the last one you just saw were eating seed that had fallen from the feeder above. I had the Layla out again, and this guy took the 34 grain JSB at about 585 feet per second or 26 foot pounds. I want to back up a bit. Watch this dove, which by the way I think is a morning dove and is why it doesn't get greased. What's weird is I thought these guys were migratory birds. Either that's BS or their internal clocks are just off a bit. Anyways, I want you to know how quiet this Edgun Layla is. Watch this bird. It doesn't even flinch. The slow motion is impacting the noise you're hearing for sure but that dove's reaction is all you need to really see. If you follow me on Instagram, you can go see a video I posted there showing the raw video and audio of shooting the Layla and you can just hear for yourself. A lot of the squirrels have this weird sense of security with this cast iron turtle. I've tried to move this thing as rats hide behind it and it's insane how heavy it is. This guy was tucked behind it, snacking on the fallen seed from the feeder above. I was testing the viewfinder feature within the ATN Xsight app, which allows you to basically stream the scope cam in real time. So when I saw this guy come in, I literally just had to walk out and pull the trigger. It was all set to go. The iPhone app's still a little buggy, but it's a great option, especially at night, so you just don't have to strain your eye looking through night vision for an extended period of time. Anyways, this guy got punched in the face with the Layla, and it was lights out. I'm not sure what happened on this one, but the pellet tracked a little bit to the right. I don't really get impacted by wind all that much back here, but I think that's what happened here because it was gusting pretty good. 
It took a 34 grand to the eye and did the squirrel version of the angry pirate. So I was up all night with a sick kid and missed this raccoon. Although, I probably would have missed it in either way because I would have been sleeping. So since I was up, I, I ran out with the R5M and it just ran off a few seconds before I walked out there. This guy's been eluding me for the past week or two. He's also the one that kind of got into it with my dog, so I've got it out for him. Uh, it's giving my neighbor fits, too, uh, with her garbage and it getting into her trees. Check out this picture my neighbor sent me of the tree damage, along with the perp. I've been taking full advantage of the quick release mount from ATN and moving the ATN Excite 4K over to the R5M at night, just in case that big raccoon rolls into the yard. What's really kind of been end up happening to me is just because the guy hasn't shown up is I've been shooting rats with 35 foot pounds while I wait. So it's about 25 more, maybe even 20 more than really what's needed. During one of these overkill ratting sessions, I'll call them, I had a new visitor. I never saw this guy until I shot the rat and it took off. It literally did a big circle, went down and then grabbed the rat, ate it, and then took off again. It was pretty cool. I'm glad uh, this rat had a pass-through, though, so that way there was no lead concerns for this cool owl. The next morning, there was just a ton of squirrel activity, so I went out and sniped a couple more to thin the herd. These two guys both got popped with the Edgun Layla with a 34 grain JSP MK2 at about 585 feet per second, which is about 26 foot-pounds. So here's that first one. I ear hold this guy and it goes down instantly. The second one turned its head here and from this angle, an eye shot is the desired point of impact. I'm not gonna slow this one down too much as it's pretty graphic. I use slow motion to show how true the pellet flies at these lower power tunes that I use as well as the concussive impact when it doesn't cross that YouTube police line and this one is pretty close. So this is your warning. Here comes the graphic part. That's going to wrap up volume four. I've got to get back to finishing this leshy build I've been putting off. Piece by piece, new parts are arriving for this new leshy build. I have another part that's coming here, uh, hopefully arriving today. So uh, once it does, I think you're going to see the leshy get back into the heavy rotation, and that should happen in volume five for sure. So stay tuned, and with any luck, I'll get that raccoon too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future Ed Gunn Leshy videos. Have a great day.